Defect does have more unmastered cards than any other character at this point. So, do we remove two cards or do we... I guess we could boss swap. I'd rather have a remove two. I think Defect is really good with remove two. Although, if I want to do this path, I have to go through a shop. There's also this. Hmm. This way is pretty good. You don't have to get a Burning Elite. Okay, I'm going to lose all gold, remove two strikes. When is boss swap good, says Raikun. I think it's good when you feel like changing up your playstyle radically and, and having a run that's really different than normal. Whether it boosts your win rate or not is the subject of much debate uh, amongst even the most experienced players. It's, it's definitely a variable choice. It's going to make your run either a lot easier or a lot harder, usually. But you're not sure which one before you click the button. I do recommend playing with boss swaps sometimes. It's a good way to force yourself out of your comfort zone and learn how to play with relics that you don't normally consider takeable. Sneko swaps are some of my favorite. Sneko swap is very strong. I guess we can actually take a look at the first three nodes. We can optionality here, right? Go left or right. Let's see what the first things have. Just strike you, I guess. Get zip zapped. Good old ball lightning immediately for defect. Always welcome here. Yeah, crown swaps are, are the tough one, Leon. Uh huh. Every character can win an Ascension 20 heart crown swap, though. It's possible. Just not easy. Or sane. Early Golden Idol, always welcome. Happy to lose max health to get 25% more money for the rest of the run. That's usually around 200 to 250. So it's enough to buy a common relic and then some. We didn't get very strong. Let's go the, this green path. Didn't get immediate money either. Okay, dual cast is always good here. Um... 50% chance it kills one of them immediately. 50% chance it hits them each one time. Got the kill. So we can full block. Great fight. Rinviri says, I found crown swaps easy on low ascension. It, they're definitely a lot more reasonable on low ascension. I really like a reinforced body. One sec, Twitch chat. Yeah, I really like a reinforced body here. Very efficient block card. Scales really well with energy generation on the defect. I'll take it. Zippy zappy orbs. I also really like having a a very a scalable block card when I've got damage orbs going on. Because then we can have a way to scale our block in the late game that doesn't involve giving up the damage orbs. And that means we can lean further into ball lightning here. Or we can grab a tempest. Let's grab another Bull Lightning. I could still fight the Burning Elite if I wanted. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. 
we meet again. It's me, Ranwid. Have any good f goods for me today? The usual. A fellow like me can't make it alone. A relic? You know, I'd give my left ball for a relic here. Although maybe I can just give up the gambler's brew. Let's give up the gambler's brew and get a bag of preparation. And I'm oddly tempted to upgrade uh, Zap. Could go the basic route of upgrade the ball lightnings. It's not bad to do that. But I really like Zap upgrade. Dual cast upgrade also a reasonable option. Along the same line. Let's go with the Zap upgrade. I think with the bag of preparation, we're going to like it. It's also nice with the um, reinforced body to have a, a cheaper card. Hmm. So I can either wake up this turn with Zap, Lightning, Lightning, Strike. And then have a kind of bad turn next turn. Or we can play Zap, skip next turn, and wake up on turn three. I think we can do better. We can also do worse. Oh, this is fine. Just having nine passive damage per turn will end most fights pretty quickly. It's pretty good. Not too bad. We get some money. We get a letter opener. Always happy to see this relic, especially when you've got zero cost skills or X cost skills. And we can take Cold Stamp, Rebound, or Compile Driver. I would not mind a rebound here. I would also not mind Cold Snap, I guess. I also wouldn't hate skipping. Hmm. Let's not take any of these. Improve our upgrade density by skipping stuff. And I guess for the next couple fights, I will upgrade one of these ball lightnings. Would I like electrodynamics to turn all this lightning into AoE? In this sort of situation, yes. Yeah, the more lightning you have, the better electrodynamics gets. This is definitely a situation where I think that's pretty good. Lantern plus Bag of Preparation. Very nice combination of relics. To get more cards and more energy. Good. Rorg yourself, sir. Perfect knob fight. We score a shovel, allowing us to dig for relics. Might do that. And some attacks that I don't think I want. We could maybe incorporate a darkness here, but I, I quite like what we have so far. Just keeping this really efficient will be very helpful. Makes it uh, quite flexible later on, too. Ooh. 
Ooh, white noise, one of my favorites. Works well with letter opener too. There is of course claw. But claw is not usually it, in my experience. I'm much of a much more of a sucker for white noise. This card is free echo form all the time, as far as I'm concerned. It always gives you the exact card you wanted, like Electrodynamics. Oh no, it's just Echo Form every time. That's right, that's what I said. Of course. Is it just me, or is there an Echo in here? Echo. 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 More garbage. I will wait. Free bias cog every time. Excellent. Play this for the letter opener, don't forget. Just defend, defend, ball lightning. That sounds right. How's it going, Avon the Fox Boy? Welcome from the YouTube. Just completely randomly deciding to check if I'm streaming. Well, guess what? I am. And often do five days a week. Stick to my schedule pretty strictly here on the stream, so whether or not I'm streaming is usually pretty predictable. So you'll catch me around this time, five days a week for sure. More lightning. We could also add a cool headed. Cool headed does seem kind of decent here. Definitely tempted by storm though. I want to try this storm. I want to see if this works out. I believe. And this Blessing of the Forge is not that good. Keep the current potions. So Storm currently doesn't do that much, right? We only have one other power in the White Noise. My hope is that that will change. Hyper Beam. I'm not going to not take Hyper Beam. The card does lots of damage, especially upgraded. Although it is somewhat tempting to dig here. Kleine, thanks for the three months of support. Yeah, or we can upgrade Hyper Beam for eight more damage. I'll dig. It's gonna be a bag of marbles. It's gonna be a data disc. Totally worth it. Plus one focus. Yeah. Don't forget that letter opener. Passable. 
think just having two focus here is going to be very helpful. Could hyper beam them both as well. Although we don't need to. Let's hyper beam them next time. Split there, but Hyperbeam can solve it. Hyperbeam, hello. Got him. GG. Ooh, fission. Vision I kind of like. This is also a deck that could almost envision taking a Thunder Strike here. Although, having Hyper Beam and Thunder Strike seems kind of silly. Two Ball Lightnings, upgraded Zap, and perhaps most importantly, Storm means Thunder Strike can hit very hard. But it seems kind of excessive. I think I'd much rather take Fission here, which can dramatically accelerate our fights by turning our Lightning Orbs into card draw and energy. Let's take a Fission. And I'll keep the current potions. Coffee dripper, huh? Hmm. Don't have that much health. Or that much block. But we do have a really good turn one. Uh, and that's often where I find that I lose health in fights, is uh, an awkward turn one. If we have almost guaranteed turn ones because of our relics, then I find this is a lot less threatening to take. Still kind of spooky, though. I am down to go elite hunting, but I'd rather do it with a coffee dripper than a black star, I think. This deck definitely looks energy hungry. Give me that. Really like energy with the current set of cards. Uh, and relics, too. Letter opener is definitely an energy fan. The shops are awkwardly positioned, though, that's for sure. Hmm. Maybe go to this one? Through these elite? Kind of weird. Let's start with a couple fights, couple events, and see what happens. We can do 26 plus 7 plus 5, 38. Okay, so we can guaranteed kill this one. Works for me. We could use the explosive potion to save 6 health. Or we could keep an explosive potion, which is a pretty powerful potion in this act. With Coffee Dripper, I think I'm going to use it. This is a pretty good chance we get another potion. Yeah. There's an unmastered card, double energy. I suppose we'd better grab that. And I'll happily remove a card. Strikes get out. Take one more fight. The chosen one. Not the turn one you're usually looking for. Uh-oh. This is actually sufficiently bad. I think I'm going to use the Swift Potion. Let's do that. Okay. Dual cast. Do the damage. we got to play this Hyper Beam, surely. Although we lose three damage per Lightning Orb per turn. That part does suck, but it's too much up front. Let's 
Sapling Storm would not be worth it. Easy. Chill is a nice card for getting Frost. It's also really nice with Fission. And with Letter Opener. How's it going, Nicholas? Timelines, first time catching a Baylor live? Well, you're in the right place. Hmm, healing pretty valuable here with uh, Coffee Dripper, but one of 20 cards could be a lot of things. Uh, notably, a, a useful power, which I would really love to find heat sinks or another storm. Let's look at cards. There's another storm. Even better, there's another double energy. All right, we have our candidate. Now we just need to win. Times four? Take an event now. Writhe Curse. Not that bad with Bag of Prep, but uh, I don't love it. Skip. One more event. I think combats are going to wear us down. Okay, this time I can just pay for the Relic. That is worth it. Kunai. Cool. Very cool. I like that with Reinforced Body especially. And here's why I was avoiding avoiding combats. These jerks. That bonus block, though. Okay, so I only need to play this for three, meaning we can do Storm, Capacitor, Reinforced Body. I like that. Very good. And then I can draw five. Although, I don't think I... Well, that's a terrible draw pile. Hmm. Awkward. Vision definitely needs an upgrade. That's probably what I'm going to do here. But uh, we have to get through the Elite first. Hmm. So if I play this, we're actually going to reduce the amount of block we can make. I can't kill the Avocado. These double energies are actually quite bad, as you can see, in a situation like this. So I'll just play the dual cast, try to kill the uh, Bungie Beast sooner rather than later. Before we get attacked for 21 again. Ugh. We're going down, Twitch chat. Bad news. I repeat. Bad news. Okay, 16 health is not a lot of health. I will take a cool-headed, uh, but I'm definitely worried for our immediate safety here as we go into triple slavers, the jerks. Good draw, though. Seven. Okay, none of them die to the Hyper Beam. Probably need to play it anyway, huh? If we Speed Potion, Double Defend, block 20. We need to live a little bit longer. Not much longer, though. A 
longer enough. <clears throat> Healing? Okay, Toy Ornithopter. Might be a little bit too late with 7 health, though. Boot sequence looks very important. Definitely like boot sequence here. Center plus also fairly appealing. As a way to kill, well, anything. We have to get through another elite, right? Against Gremlin Leader, Sunder could be quite useful. Our act boss is Bronze Automaton. It's good there, too. Okay, I'll take the Sunder. But I'm not sure that's the right choice. Smooth Stone's pretty useful, too. Waffle could be in the shop, that's very true. There's a lot of ways things could turn around from here. Well, maybe not that many ways, but there's a few ways. <laughs> Equilibrium is not a waffle, but I consider it to be pretty good. Smoke Bomb can get us through the elite fight. You know, actually, <laughs> maybe that's the play. Buy the Smoke Bomb. Because I think we can get through the Bronze Automaton without too much trouble. Not Double Fear Potion? No. Although we should buy one Fear Potion. The Smoke Bomb is appealing because it's, it's an assurance, no matter how bad the Elite fight goes. Smoke Bomb salt saves the day. So we'll, we'll grab it. And I can remove Strike. Excellent. Perfect shot. Not sure Storm has worked out? It definitely hasn't. No, definitely hasn't. That's, that's also part of the problem. Is that I grabbed Storm and I have not yet made it pay off. Still could, but... We have uh, shorter term problems currently. Double your double energy. I, I guess. Hmm. Calipers would be good here. Okay, that went exceedingly well. We didn't need the smoke bomb, of course. But uh, that's what assurances are for. And a dichotomy. Do we skim or do we heat sinks? I say if I took the storm, it means I'm also taking the heat sinks. Let's go. Turn up the heat. Surprise Merchant. Fairy in a bottle would have been much better than a smoke bomb. Oh well. Nothing I regret too badly here. Well, other than the remove, I guess. Do I ever want the beam cell? I don't think so. I guess that's actually pretty good with Hyper Beam and Sunder, huh? Hmm. I don't think I want it, though. We already have so many bad draws. I I don't think we can afford it currently. Feels like I need to upgrade Cool-Headed or something. Yeah, I think that's what I need to do. If we can fix the card draw problem of this deck, it should work a lot better. And we need it to work because we're in a boss fight now. So if it's not working, I don't know what it's doing. Hold on to that. Vision next turn.
prefer not to hyper beam in this fight. For the most part. We're gonna have the letter opener do a lot of work for us. And the sender, of course. Every time. I guess I didn't even actually need the energy back, huh? Cute. So, with no cards in the draw pile, they take the rarest card in the discard pile, which will be one of the uncommons here. Build your own Runic Pyramid. GG. We actually made it to Act 3. I was pretty scared we were dead there for a minute. But we've prevailed. I think the deck is starting to get fixed here. And if we can find more powers to add... Ah, oh, dang it. Well, I guess I'll take a reboot. I was really hoping there'd be a power here. Creative AI in particular would have been really juicy. But reboot is acceptable. Didn't even need the smoke bomb... Now we can take, eh, probably not Pandora's box. Inserter would give us more orb slots over time. With Data Disk, that's actually kind of hype. Or Sneko Eye makes all of our cards a random cost, but we draw more cards. Actually, this could be a pretty powerful Sneko deck with two double energies, Sunder, Hyper Beam, and Reinforced Body. That's a that's a pretty good snack of eye. Again, it's that or inserter, and I'm not sure about the inserter. The plus draw is very good for our consistency. Let's try the Sneko. I believe in Sneko. Ooh, we can go double shop with the Smiling Mask here. Snip some of the cards we don't think we want. I can see getting rid of Dual Cast at this time. We could maybe even lose Zap. But we can easily snip two cards here. Upgrade Elite Upgrade is pretty sweet. I think this will work out pretty well. Yeah, because then... Sometimes our turns look like this. Exciting. Seems good. 
hologram with Snekawai, very strong. Always. Always very strong. So now we purge a card, yes? Dual cast, you're out of here. Doom and Gloom is kind of good. Let's add a Doom and Gloom. Okay, quite like that. Actually, use some of these potions. This is almost takeable. Stack plus. I think we don't often have enough cards in the discard pile, though. So, is it defrag or card remove? I think it might be defrag. Let's go defrag. Is double energy really a below average card? Yes. Yeah, I'm just gonna say yes. It is. When you're comparing to turbo being common on this character, double energy is sad. On three base energy, a double energy played unupgraded gives you plus one energy and then exhausts. Other energy cards will give you two energy and don't exhaust. Although I guess one energy and exhausting is also what Seeing Red does, right? Well, Seeing Red's pretty situational too. But yeah, largely just overshadowed by Turbo. Okay, that's a pretty good turn one. We have we have pretty good burst in this deck, which is definitely what Defect often lacks in, but we kind of fall short once all the cards have been played one time. Concerning. Shoot. Yeah, I think we just reinforce for two. Ouch. Oh yeah, I probably should have used that the speed potion at that moment. I definitely should have. Yeah, I definitely should have. That was a misplay. Not sure why I wasn't thinking about the potion in that moment. Oh well. So it goes sometimes. Yeah, we did find a potion. Won't someone think of the potions? I guess that's better than the flex pot. But yeah, definitely a misplay not to use one of them there, especially with the ornithopter. Oh well. I'm here to upgrade my defrag. And you can't stop me. Question is, can Reptomancer with max health stop me? And the answer... 
certainly might be yes. We double energy, we go to six. Not that much of an improvement, but it's still better than not playing it, I guess. Gets us letter opener credit too. Thankfully, Sunder can blop one of these ridiculous creations. Probably want to go Heatsink, Steve Rag, huh? That feels right. Here goes. This might suck a lot. Okay, okay, looking better. Definitely looking better. We can hologram asunder if we want to. I'm trying to maybe avoid playing Hyper Beam, at least initially here. Uh, although it is definitely the easiest solve to this fight. If we have no focus, we kind of struggle to do other stuff. At the same time, we also want to prevent too many... Wounds from getting at it. So let's do this. Just block this hit. Buffer. Okay, here we go. Now I can see myself playing Hyper Beam because it so cleanly kills these fools. I'll do that. I will do that. Hyper Beam for the new summons. Kill those two. That went quite well. We score an Omomori, preventing us from getting curses. We find a self repair. Um, and the consume that would have made Inserter into uh, a very happy time. We don't necessarily need this self repair, mind you. There's not that many fights left in the run. And if we can do without it, well, I guess it's a power, right? I'll take it. Potions for days. I really ought to have used one of them. Oh, well. Good news is we killed the Burning Elite with no trouble. And I can consider upgrading a hologram. That's probably a must do. And we have to take the blue key here. Can only do one more elite, but might as well get another rest site, huh? This is kind of the same either way. I guess I can get two events or one event. Show me the events. 64 gold for the red mask. To apply one week on turn one. That's actually kind of a decent deal. Where's my tooltip? All weird. Sure, I'll take it. Take from others as I have taken from you. Sure thing. All right, anything that's actually important to upgrade at this time? I don't think so. So we're allowed to dig if we wish. Or we can just recall. Let's recall. Hmm. Okay, 
right, that's pretty good. Let's use that right now. And I would like these Frost Orbs for next turn, actually. be the situation for Essence of Darkness. Not that they'll deal a ton of damage, but it'll help a bit. Let's hollow cool-headed first. Oh yeah, definitely Essence of Darkness. Okay. That'll also heal us for five. We want to play Sunder with a lot of slow stacks to avoid, uh, to deal the most damage here. Let's just go Doom and Gloom, Reinforced Body, Sunder. We're a bit short here. Concerning. Might want a speed potion this turn. I think so. Looking tough overall, though. That's not enough to kill. We needed uh, these cards. Definitely a bit short here. Why are we still here? Ow. Well, the good news is we do have a self repair. And. Not a bottled echo form, but we can have a bottled heat sinks. It's pretty good. Feels like we need more powers for this to work. Really wishing we'd taken that uh, thunder strike. Actually, funny how that it funny how that turned out. Could heal to full health in exchange for twelve max health, or I can lose the golden idol to gain three 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 gold here giving us more options at the final shop. That's what I'll do. Counting on self-repair and our scaling to save us in the next couple fights. See if that actually works. Might not. Definitely might not. As long as our turn ones are good, then everything's good. Dynamics. Second Hyper Beam. I don't know. I feel like we might fall flat here. Especially with no potions. This could be ugly. We'll see. 
Do we dig for a chance at salvation? No, surely we upgrade loop, right? Yeah, surely we upgrade loop. Okay, this is a good turn one, at least, with uh, double energy immediately. I'm going to try not to play most of these powers. We'll be playing Defragment and Loop, but not Storm, not Heat Sinks, and not Self Repair, at least not during the initial part of this fight. I will play White Noise and see what it creates every time, Echo Form. Let's go. Right when you need it. There it is. I'll play Single Loop as well. Twenty energy can help me. It sure can. Prehistoric Ham says, My instinct says digging should be better than most upgrades. And I would agree with you, but when you when you upgraded the fire, you don't get most upgrades. You get the best upgrade in your deck. I think that's the crucial difference there. Yeah, as Zeknar would put it, this is the upgrade character, too, so... That has, a, that has a role as well. Defect just really has powerful upgrades a lot of the time. Okay, birds are dispatched. Key powers are in play. Get to double the defrag now. That'll make us a lot stronger. Especially with the loop in play. So now all we need to do is prevail. Gotta be careful about the frost count, though. by 4 is 64. We block for 28 passively. So we're about 30 short on these turns. Okay, we'll go double ball lightning here. I removed dual cast, didn't I? I did. I totally did. Totally did.
sure that went how I wanted it to. Hmm. No, I don't think it did. My bad. <clears throat> Not that much health lost, but that was unnecessary. Doing fine. Double our self repair now. GG. We have thirty five health for the next boss, which will be Donu and Deca. As long as we can play cards quickly enough in this fight, we'll do quite well. Let's see. Not in love with this opening draw, but what can you do? That's better. Do I just reinforced? We probably want a cool headed, huh? We're taking a little bit of damage to get that frost orb in play. Although no loop is a bit of a shame. Tell me, white noise, what do you have today? Every time, echo form. Thank you. Was there really any doubt? I don't think so. do that though. Let's do this instead. Not what I actually wanted. Oh well, it's all good. Perfect. Definitely balancing on a knife's edge here, though. We are not that sturdy at the moment. Use hollow to get the equilibrium, and then the echo formed hollow targets the other hologram, returning the hologram as well. It's always nice to do that. All right, I guess I better just play regular loop. And then I don't have any frost in front, huh? That was not maybe the wisest either. Curses. Uh, we can probably just kill Donu next turn, actually. Fetching that Sunder, retaining it. Okay, that'll work. Just kill the Donut. We can echo form reinforced. And all is well. In fact, we can do better than that. And 
And there you go. We've made it to Act 4 successfully. That was a bit of a harrowing journey. But uh, we, we survived. Totally survived. Aeon Iconics, thanks for 15 months in the Prime sub. Two thump, two thump, two thump. A deep pulsing red can be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of the spire? The source of all this doubled energy. Charger core dealing 2107. I don't think we could have done it without white noise. That's for sure. White noise definitely saving the day. Any last upgrades? Now it might be time to dig. Or we could upgrade Reinforced Body, which actually seems kind of important. Let's do that. You can buy Lizard Tail. That's vaguely tempting. If you want to have any chance of beating Heart, though, I think we need this Focus Potion. Absolutely, positively need this Focus Potion. Uh, maybe we also want Cauldron, in fact, to look for another better potion. Never too late for an algorithm. Might be too late for an algorithm. What do you got, Cauldron? Dairy in a bottle or a power potion. Power potion is huge as well. I'm taking power potion. On Defect in particular, this could be Creative AI, this could be um, Echo Form, this could be... Capacitor even would be good. Fairy is a buzz budget Lizard Tail, but I'm not sure it can compete with the uh, Scaling Potions that we're going to need for the hard fight. That'll do. Remove... Zap. And do we buy any of the other stuff? We could buy another ball lightning. That seems not necessary. Is FTL worth it here? Definitely not, because we have a Sneko Eye. Don't forget the Sneko. Or you're going to go to Heko. Better to remove Hyper Beam. No way, we might need Hyper Beam for this fight. Could be a requirement. I'll go what? This doesn't actually change my energy. That's sad. I guess we go Ball Lightning Fission. Then we can chill. Yeah, then we can chill. Hmm. Not the greatest turn one, but not bad. Call it adequate. Would have been nice to be able to play Sunder multiple times. But at least we get a bunch of free block for this turn. Oh, and we get creative AI. Okay, that'll help. And we full block this, which is pretty nice also. And we make an Electrodynamics. Okay, this is the right direction for things to be going. I like it. Maybe should have dumped my damage into Spire Shield earlier. Foolish of me. Blocks for 16 more. That is exactly a full block, actually. I'm down for that. Don't 
forget to self-repair. Good. That was an excellent fight. We got a little bit of healing. We kept both potions. And we can grab a cold snap, which I think we should grab because we have very few ways to get frost orbs and we're going to need some frost for the heart. We also now have kunai shuriken, which might work out. All right, Mr. Hart. Suppose we drink the power potion first. Yeah, that's probably what we need to do first. Creative AI. I like that more than buffer here. Random power every turn is exactly what we need. Draw. Then use this. Okay. I want to play heat sinks also. White noise is buffer. And that would be nice to have too, actually. So let's go cold snap, <clears throat> reinforce body, buffer. I think is the line here. If we face the big hit next turn, we just buffer it. If it's a multi-hit, we could be in big trouble. Would be nice to play loop, but it's kind of expensive, and I can't preserve buffer if I play loop. But also hologram cool headed instead of playing cold snap. Actually, that's probably better, huh? Let's do that. Then I don't need to play the reinforced body. I still want to. For five damage. Okay. Hurts to miss Storm. Please be the big hit first. Damn it. Well, that's bad. Can't play this bias cog quite yet. Uh oh. Hey, we're alive. Good. At least for now. Spooky. Okay, this gets better though. We can go defend, defend, creative AI, and loop here. Still don't play Storm. We need to survive. If we can outscale the heart, we can win this. And with two powers being generated per turn, uh, we can scale quite well here. So, all might not be lost. Aha! Echo form. Excellent. Hmm. I 
Seems like we might need the spike from the bias cog to stay alive, though, huh? Vision alone is not guaranteed to be enough. I'm also concerned that if we get rid of our frost orbs, that next turn could be very dangerous. Unless I can regenerate them with the cold snapper cool headed from the draw pile. We do get to draw a lot of cards. So I think we have to go both bias cognition and vision. Let's start with the bias here. this next. Okay, there's Cold Snap. Good. This Echo Form can get play. Double Energy helps. Finally, we can play Storm. It's time. Just one. And I can either Cold Snap or Sunder again. Let's Cold Snap. Okay, this looks pretty good. Lots of lightning. Get rid of all this garbage that we don't want to draw ever again. We need this kunai and shuriken procs too. more cards get doubled. And then don't forget to triple defend for five more damage quite important. More echo forms, please. Oh, jeez. That's not good. Hmm. Literally all of the block cards are in the draw pile, you say? <laughs> We do have enough buffers to skip our turn, right? The buff, the burn eats one of them, the hit takes the second one. But then uh, next turn we're eating 6 by 15. How much will double reinforce body block for? It's 12 times 8. He's 96. That's actually enough. It's a full block. But then our, our timer runs out pretty quick. But double cold snap, double cool headed. Each frost orb is eight block base. So we would get one evoke for 11, three passive for 24. No, that, that definitely just dies. Although we're guaranteed to draw into some more block. We're not guaranteed to be 
guaranteed to be able to play it. Remember, we can't play a card one time. Double bias cog. What? That's crazy. You're crazy. I'm going to stop reading chat now. I think we just end the turn. Good. Let's worry there for a minute. Exact seas block, you say. And then double this. attack next turn. It's going to Sunder again. Perfect. Get him, Storm. Remember when they said they didn't feel like Storm paid off? This is where Storm pays off. The here and the now, giving us the last lightning arms required to beat the heart. GG. If you enjoyed that video, Watch this one next, and don't forget to follow on Twitch to watch the content live. Click the link in the description below.